welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar and this is the first course as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham satchidanandam वंदेहम योखिलं जगत् चरीकर्ति बरी भरति संजरी हर्ति लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिलं जगत् चरीकर्ति बरी भरति संजरी हर्ति लीलया we are studying the tatpurusha samasa we have studied that there are four types of samasas in sanskrit avyayi bhava tatpurusha bahubrihi and dvandva tatpurusha samasa is an important type of samasa in sanskrit there are number of sutras dealing with the tatpurusha samasa more in number than the other of the samasas the varieties of the tatpurusha samasa are also quite a few in comparison with other samasas so this tatpurusha samasa therefore becomes a very important topic for our study the features of the tatpurusha samasa can be shown in the form of an equation mentioned on this slide where we have x and y two independent words separate elements and x and y they are thought to be merged together by the speaker of sanskrit and then the compound processing takes place and an output is generated in the form of x y now this x y is one unit in terms of meaning as well as word form as well as accent so there are these three features namely aikarthya aikapadya and aikasvarya which are visible on x y as one unit the most important feature of the tatpurusha samasa is that x y is that output generated and now within this it is y which assumes the role of the head what it means is that when x y is to be associated with any other unit in the sentence that interrelation of other units with x y will happen through y and not through x if there are compounds where there is interrelation of x y through x such a compound is generally termed as asamarth samasa we also studied vibhakti tatpurusha and in this we also studied right from dvitiya tritiya chaturthi and panchami dvitiya vibhakti tatpurusha is stated by the bunch of sutras beginning with dvitiya shrita tita patita gatatya stap prapta pannaihi tritiya vibhakti tatpurusha is stated by uh, another bunch of sutras beginning with tritiya tatkratarthena gunavachanena chaturthi vibhakti tatpurusha is stated by only one sutra chaturthi tadarthartha balihita sukha rakshitaihi panchami vibhakti tatpurusha is stated by a few sutras beginning with panchami bhayena and then we come to saptami vibhakti tatpurusha stated by another set of sutras that begin with saptami shaundaihi from 
up to 2, 148. We have already studied sutras from 2, 140 up to 2, 143. Now the remaining sutras need to be studied and this is what we shall focus on in this particular sutra. Let us concentrate on 2.144, Saudnyayam. There is only one pada in the sutra, that is Saudnyayam, which is 7 slash 1 of Saudnya. Saudnya means a technical term. Saudnyayam means when a term is denoted by the compound. Words continued are Sup from 2.12, Sahasupa from 214. Of course, Samartha Padavidhihi is present. The word Saptami is also continued. The word Saptami is in 1 slash 1, Prathama Vibhakti, and therefore Prathama Nirdishtam Samasa Upasarjanam applies. So any word in the Saptami Vibhakti will be now termed as Upasarjana, and by the Sutra Upasarjanam Purvam, this Saptamyanta word will now occupy the initial position in the compound. So Purvanipata will take place. So the meaning of the Sutra can be stated in the form of the following manner, following skeleton. So we have two Subantas. At the end of the first Subanta there is the Saptami Vibhakti. And at the end of the second pada, there is any subanta possible which is interrelated to this previous subanta. And then the samasa saudhnya happens. And finally, we get a compound in the form of the previous pada's pratipadika, purva pada pratipadika, and also uttara pada pratipadika. One of the notable things about this compounds, compound is that. The Saptami Vibhakti is not deleted. We shall see uh, about this in a while. So the compound output would be the Prapurva Pada ending in Saptami and the Pratipadika of the Uttara Pada merged together forming one unit Saptami Vibhakti Tatpurusha. Since the word generated by the process of compounding is a technical term. This will be a Nitya Samasa of a Vigraha type. So here is an example. When the meaning to be conveyed is forest sesamum, which is a technical term, Aranye Tilakaha. This is the Laukika Vigraha. Tilakaha Aranye. Aranye Tilakaha. The season which is found in the forest. Now, after this Laukika Vigraha, we get the Alaukika Vigraha in the form of Aranya plus Ni plus Tilaka plus Su, and then this Ni is not deleted. Tilaka plus Su has got Su, which is deleted. So, at the stage of Aranya plus Ni plus Tilaka plus Su, the Samasa Saudhnya takes place. So then the Pratipadika Saudhnya takes place. So me and so become part of the Pratipadika. Therefore, Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho applies and deletes Su. And so finally, we have Aranya Tilaka as the finally derived output. Sesamum growing in a forest and containing no oil. That is the meaning of the word Aranya Tilaka and Aranya Tilaka is a technical term. Similarly, are generated words like Aranya Mashaha, Forest Pearls, Vane Kimshukaha, Forest Kimshuka, Vane Bilvakaha, Forest Bilvaka, etc. And these are technical terms of plants, pulses, etc. There is non-deletion of Saptami. By 639, Haladantat Saptamyaha Saudnyayam. Next, we go to the next sutra, Khtena Ho Ratravayavaha. 2145. 
tenahu ratra vayavaha. There are two padas in the sutra, khtena, which is three slash one. What it means is, with the word having the suffix kht, ahoratravayavaha is one slash three, which means parts of day and night. Since this word appears in the prathama vibhakti, prathama nirdishtam samasa upasarjanam applies, and then upasarjanam purvam, states that this will occupy the initial position in the samasa. Words continued are sup and sahasupa. Samartha padavidhihi is present. Saptami is also present and saptami is in one slash one. So now the meaning of the entire sutra is the following. Saptamyanta subanta whose pratipadika means part of day and part of night is compounded with another interrelated subanta whose pratipadika consists of a khta suffix. I repeat, saptamyanta subanta whose pratipadika means part of day and part of night is compounded with another interrelated subanta whose pratipadika consists of a khta suffix. So we have the following skeleton. The purvapada consisting of ahoratravayava as pratipadika and saptami as sub and the uttarapada consisting of a pratipadika which ends in the suffix khta. And then the output generated would be Ahoratravayava and the Pratipadika which ends in Khta together in this particular sequence and this would be the output compound. Here is the example. The meaning to be denoted is something that was done in the after in the forenoon. Something that was done in the forenoon. So we have Purvanhe Kritam as the laukika vigraha, purvandhe kritam. Now, from this laukika vigraha, we get the alaukika vigraha, purvandha plus ni plus krita plus su. And then we also note that the word krita, which is the pratipadika of the uttarapada, consists of the suffix ta, which is khta. So, Purvanha plus Ni plus Kru plus Ta plus Su. And so now the conditions for this sutra to apply are fulfilled. So, this sutra applies, there is Samasa, and then finally there is Pratipadika Saudhnya, and finally Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoha applies, and we have Purvanha plus 0 plus Krita plus 0, and then we join them together and we get the compound output. Namely, Purvanha Krita. Purvanha Krita means the same as Purvanhe Kritam. Something that was done in the forenoon. Purvanha is part of the day. And Krita is a word ending in the suffix Krita. Similarly, from Aparanhe Kritam, Aparanha is afternoon. Aparanhe Kritam is generated Aparanha Kritam, something that was done in the afternoon. So Purvanha and Aparanha are the words meaning the part of the day. Similarly, when the meaning is something that was done in the first half of the night, we have Purvaratre Kritam as the Laukika Vigraha. And then from this Laukika Vigraha, we get Purvaratra plus Ni plus Krita plus Su. Now we know that the word Krita consists of the suffix Khta. And so now we apply the Samasa Saudhnya and then Pratipadika Saudhnya gets applied. And because of that, the Su, which is part of the Pratipadika, namely Ni and Su, they get deleted. 
सो वी हैव पूर्व रात्र प्लस जीरो प्लस कृत प्लस जीरो एंड फाइनली वी गेट द डिराइव्ड आउटपुट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पूर्व रात्र कृत पूर्व रात्र इज पार्ट ऑफ द नाइट सो रात्र अवयव सिमिलरली फ्रॉम अपर रात्र कृतम इज जनरेटेड अपर रात्र कृतम मीनिंग समथिंग दैट वॉज डन इन द सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ द नाइट ना पूर्वाह्न अपराह्न पूर्व रात्र एंड अपर रात्र दीज वर्ड्स डिनोट द अहो रात्र अवयव एंड द सफिक्स द इज प्रेजेंट इन कृत एंड देर फॉर दीज वर्ड्स ऑफकोर्स दे आर इंटर रिलेटेड सो दीज वर्ड्स गेट कंपाउंडेड एंड वी डिराइव द फॉर्म्स पूर्व रात्र कृत अपर रात्र कृत एंड पूर्वाह्न कृत अपराह्न कृत एक्सेट्रा Now we go to the next sutra, Kshepe, which is two one forty seven. Kshepe is a sutra consisting of only one word, one pada, Kshepe, seven slash one. This means in the sense of censure. Words continued are sup and sahasupa, of course samartha pada vidhi. The word Saptami is also continued. The word Saptami appears in the Prathama Vibhakti. The word Saptami appears in the Prathama Vibhakti, and therefore, by the sutra Prathama Nirdeshtam Samasopa Sarjanam, the word in the Saptami Vibhakti is termed Upasarjana, and by the sutra Upasarjanam Purvam, this word occupies the initial position in the compound. The other word to continue is ktena three slash one, meaning with the word having the suffix kta internally. So the skeleton of the compound derived in this manner by this sutra is the following: the purva pada consists of the saptami vibhakti, and the uttara pada consists of the pratipadika having kta as the suffix at the end. and the output generated is once again the purva pada along with the pratipadika in the uttara pada since the sense of censure is denoted by the compound as a whole this will be a nitya samasa of avigraha type so here is the example when the meaning to be denoted is the stationing of the mongus on the hot tin roof avatapte nakulasthitam this is the laukika vigraha and from this we get avatapta plus gni plus nakulasthita plus su and then this sutra kshepe applies and samasa saudnya is applied then pratipadika saudnya gets applied and then ngi and su they become part of the pratipadika and so supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and su gets deleted and so we have avatapta plus ngi plus nakula sthita plus zero but before applying 2471 etc we first confirm that nakula sthita consists of a word sthita which ends in the suffix kt and so we apply the sutras and finally we get the form avatapte nakula sthita what this compound intends to convey is a censure shape it intends to convey the instability chapalam etat anavasthitatvam this is the censure unsteadiness or unsettledness one does not get settled on one is unsteady and this is what is the censure just as a mongoose who is stationed on the hot tin roof cannot stay at one point for some period of time similarly a, an individual cannot 
remain in one position for some time. That is what is the intention. Avatapte nakulasthit. Yatha avatapte deshe nakula na chiram sthataro bhavanti. Tadvat anyopi yorthana rabhya na chiram teshu avatishthate. This is the explanation provided by the commentaries. I read again. Yatha avatapte deshe. Nakulaha na chiram sthataro bhavanti. Tadvatu anyopi yorthana rabhya na chiram teshu avatishthate. Just as mongoose does not stay for long in a place which is hot, similarly, some other who begins the things but does not stay in them for long. Such a person is referred to by this compound expression with a censure intended. So compound expression is generated only to generate this censure. If the words are separately uttered, this censure is not generated. Similarly are generated compounds like udake vishiranam, pravahe mutritam, bhasmani hutam, etc. Nishpalam yat kriyate tad eva muchyate something that is useless, vasmani hutam, there is an ash and you are sacrificing in the same ash, what is going to be the use of it? Nothing. So vasmani hutam, this is nishpala, nishpalam yat kriyate tad evam uchyate. What does not yield fruit is thus stated by way of censure. Compounding is made only to denote censure in these cases. So when these words are uttered separately, they do not denote any censure. The non-decision of Saptami is stated by 6314 Tatpurushe Kriti Bahulam in these, in these cases. Next we go to Patre Samita Dayascha 2.148. There are two padas in this sutra, Patre Samita Dayaha and Cha. Patre Samita Dayaha is 1 slash 3 and this means a group of words that begins with the word Patre Samita. Cha is an indeclinable and Cha means and. The words continued are Sup and Sahasupa. Sup from 212 and Sahasupa from 214. The words continued are Saptami and Kshepe. Samartha Padavidhihi obviously is there. Saptami is in 1 slash 1, thereby this becomes the Upasarjana by the Sutra Prathama Nirdishtam Samasa Upasarjanam. And then by the Sutra Upasarjanam Purvam, this word ending in the Saptami occupies the initial position of the compound. The other word continued is Kshepe, which is in 7 slash 1 in the sense of censure. Now this particular Sutra is making a reference to the group of words that begins with the word Patre Samita. So what is Patre Samita? So this is called a Nipatana Sutra. Words collected in this group, whether they meet the laid down conditions of the Saptami Tatpurusha Samasa so far or not, are termed as Tatpurusha Samasa. As the purpose of compounding is to denote censure, this is a Nitya Samasa of Avigraha type. So the Vigraha will not denote the censure. This group is called Akritigana, a bag of words with similar features. This is an open-ended group or bag of words. The purpose of this collection is accent as well as absence of other conditions stated so far. For the words which contain the suffix kta, 
the purpose is accent at the beginning of the purva pada purva pada adyudattatva as stated by the commentaries as stated by the sutra 6281 yuktaro yadayascha the commentaries say patre samita dayascha yuktaro yadayah tataste pyadyudatta bhavanti for the other words the purpose of them being stated here is just censure now what is the meaning of patre samita so when you denote the meaning those who come together only for food patre samita samita is who come together patre means for patra that is the plate of food so these are those people who come together only for food but not or never for any work patre eva samita no punaha kvachit karye and therefore in order to denote this particular meaning we have the laukika vigraha namely patre samita and then we have the alaukika vigraha patra plus ni plus samita plus su and then the samasa saudhnya takes place and then the pratipadika saudhnya applies and then ni and su are now part of the pratipadika so supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and deletes both of them but 6314 tatpurushe kriti bahulam says that the purva pada ni the purva pada su namely ni here is not deleted and therefore now we have patra plus ni plus samita plus zero and then we join them together we get the word patre samita the non deletion of saptami stated by 6314 tatpurushe kriti bahulam so patre samita means those who come together only for food where censure is intended similarly we have patre bahulaha derived in the same fashion patre bahulaha means many who gather only for food udara krumihi worm in the stomach kupa mandu kaha frog in the well nagara kakaha crow in the city gehe shurah valiant only in home gehe nardi roaring only in home karne titti bhaha bug in the ear all these words they denote some kind of censure and those words are collected together in this group which begins with the word patre samita to summarize saptami vibhakti tatpurusha is also stated by a limited number of sutras the process of compounding is resorted to by the speakers sometimes to convey an additional meaning like censure which is not the meaning of any particular constituent such a meaning is not denoted therefore by separate constituents there are cultural extensions of terms in accordance with traditional interpretations that are a highlight of the process of compounding in these cases these are the texts referred to thank you for your patience